Hi beautiful, thanks for being here. Today I'm going to show you how to take good pictures of your nail art. So because a lot of you guys ask me how I do my photos, I thought it would be helpful to share my tips and tricks, how to make your mani look great on a picture. Let's go! So my secret weapon is a light box. I have this pretty basic um, light box uh, from Pulu's and it's doing great. If it comes to the size, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's, I feel like it's just perfect. I bought it for like 30 zlotych, which is oh my God, currency conversion. $8. I know in America it seems really, really cheap, but you know, the currency conversion is weird here, so. So I think it would be a little more expensive if you use dollars. My light box has two LED strips and you plug them here and here. For my pictures I plug only this strip because I also use a phone flash. So I actually tried uh, plugging both of the strips but um, with the phone flash it was to life for me so I decided to stick with this one second tip is to use a phone flash because the phone flash will make your um, picture more vibrant and more sharp if that makes sense so I always use a phone flash for my pictures take good care of your cuticles pictures with cleaned cuticles will be a more aesthetic and more neat. If you're not taking a picture just after uh, painting your nails, I suggest washing your hands before. From my own experience, I can say that uh, the skin appears more smooth and just more moisturized uh, after you wash your hands. In editor, play with contrast, with sharpness, with lighting. Think about what you um, want to show in your picture. If it's bright colors, if it's the precision of nail art, cut your photos to size. It will give the photo more of a aesthetic look. Always remember that the picture will look the best if the surface is perfectly smooth. So always remember to add a nice thick coat of glossy or matte top coat. So let's see how it looks in real life. Okay, so for my pictures I always wear a long black sleeve. Um, this is just the sleeve from a all long sleeve top. I make sure my nails are smooth. Then I plug my light box and make sure that the inside is clean. I do my hand pose. This is my favorite hand pose because it allows me to show my nail art really well. I turn the flash on and start taking pictures. I usually take around 20 to 30 pictures. Then I choose the best quality one and go to the editing step. First of all, I open the face tune to I choose my photo and go to details. I apply this to my cuticles. This is just gonna make them sharper. I adjust the intensity and move on to the next step. I tap smooth, but I'm not gonna smooth anything. I just tap glow and apply it on the skin. I do that because I don't know why, but my skin looks a little bit darker and grayer on these pictures and I want my pictures to look as realistic as possible.
I make the intensity smaller and save my picture. I don't have VIP, so I have to watch an ad to do that. Now I'm opening the app called Text on Photo. I'm going to add a watermark. I type my Instagram name, choose a font and make my name smaller. I move my captions near the pinky nail and I make the B in my name fit right into a little space between the pinky and the finger so nobody will be able to cut out my name. This is very important because a lot of people steal nail pictures from Instagram. This is not gonna stop them, but at least everyone will know that the picture is stolen and who's the original artist. Now I open Instagram and add a new photo. I don't use any filters, but I like to play with the settings. I cut and rotate my picture. I sharpen it, decrease the shadows setting and boost the lightnings setting. I always lower the temperature a bit, boost the contrast and sometimes the saturation. Now my picture is ready to post. Okay, beautiful, thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here. I wish you all a great day, take care of yourself and see you later!